Okay, so in this lecture, we are going to see some sets in R2. R2 means the XY plane. So R2 stands for your standard XY plane. The actual meaning of R2 is given by real axis cross real axis. So X axis is also real axis and Y axis is also real axis. Now we will try to draw some sets in R2. So the first set that we will draw is set A is the set of all XY in R2 such that X plus Y is equal to 1. Okay. So how will I draw this set? Now clearly if you look at this equation X plus Y is equal to 1. What I will do is I will take x equal to suppose I put x equal to 0 in this equation, then I will get y equal to 1. So the coordinates will be x, y will be how much will be 0, comma 1. If you put y equal to 0 in this, then you will get x is equal to 1. In that case, the coordinate x, y will become how much the coordinate x, y will become 1, comma 0. Clearly, x plus y equal to 1 is what? x plus y equal to 1 is an equation of line because we know the equation of line is of the form ax plus by is equal to how much? ax plus by is equal to c. And this is the value of a1x plus 1y equal to 1. So clearly, x plus y equal to 1 denotes a line. And this line is passing through two points, 0, 1, and 1, 0. So when I draw the picture in the book, this is the point 1, 0, and this is the point 0, 1. And I'm supposed to draw a straight line which uh, which passes through these two points. You can check that this line passes through these two points using GeoGebra also. You will get the same line. The second set that we are going to draw now is the line A, the set I'm saying is B is x comma y such that in r2 such that 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6. So I will consider the line as 2x plus 3y equal to 6. Okay. When I put x equal to 0, I will get 3y equal to 6 and therefore y will become 3. And therefore, the point x comma y on the line will become 0 comma 3. And when you put y equal to 0, you will get 3. You will get 2x is equal to 6. And in that case, you will get x is equal to 3. So the point x, y will become now what? Uh, sorry, here y is equal to 2. Sorry. Here y is 2. Okay. And here you will get 3 comma. Zero. So when I draw the picture in the xy plane on the x axis, I will go at 3, 0. So this point is 3, comma 0. And this point is what? This point is 0, comma 0, comma 2. So when I draw a straight line, which is like this. So what is the equation of this line? The equation of this line is 2x plus 3y equal to. 6. Okay, now we want to decide whether because the original question is saying 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6. Now the question arises that should I shade the left region, the this region of the line, or should I shade the upper part or the right region of the line? This we want to now decide carefully. So what I will do is I will go in any one region. Suppose this is the region. Okay. You have to pick any one point in this region. Okay. If I pick up any one point, what is the simplest point lying in this region? The simplest point lying in the region is suppose I take 0, 0. Okay. So I will check 0, 0. Check. Does that 0, 0 point satisfy this equation? Satisfy the equation what? 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 6. Does this point 0, 0 satisfy the equation? 2x plus 3y less than or equal to 6. Put x0 and y0. So this is x and this is y. So it is 2 into 0 plus 3 into 0. 
is less than or equal to six. Two into zero and three into zero is zero. So zero plus zero is zero. Zero less than is zero less than or equal to six. Read this question carefully. Is zero less than six, or is it zero? Is that zero equal to six? Is the answer to yes, yes to any one of this? Yes. So the answer to this is yes. So zero is less than or equal to six is correct. Okay, because it is less than six, right? It is not equal to, but it is certainly less than six. So this answer is correct. So it means that zero zero does satisfy this equation. Therefore, you have to shade that region. Okay, let me show you example which is on the right hand side. Suppose I take a point three comma three. Look at the point three comma three. Three comma three is lying to the right side. Check for three comma three. You should get the answer no. Okay, or if I check for three comma three, I will get two x plus three y less than or equal to six. Just put three and three everywhere. Two into three plus three into three is less than or equal to six. This is six plus nine is fifteen. Is less than or equal to six. <clears throat> and this is fifteen less than or equal to six. This is not correct, right? Because this is wrong. So this means that this three comma three point, wherever it lies, it does not satisfy this equation two x plus three minus. So I will not shade this region. So this region is not to be shaded. So I will just shade. This part of the region. Should I shade the it along with the line? Should I touch the line where I'm shading, or should I stay away from the line? I can touch the line because less than b dia hai. Less than is also given and equal to is also given, so I have to touch the line. If it is given that it is strictly less than six, then I will not touch the line. Okay. You will see this picture when you plot the same equation in. GeoGebra, you can see that it actually touches the point three zero and it touches the point zero comma two, and the left part of this line is automatically shaded. Okay, let me go to the next problem. Is set? Uh, we will draw the set C x comma y belonging to R two such that x square plus y square is how much? X square plus y square is three. Now we all know that x square plus y square equal to a square. This actually denotes a. This denotes a circle. The circle has a standard formula. X minus uh, x minus m square plus y minus n square is equal to a square. This m and n is actually the center of the circle, and this a is nothing but the Radius of the circle. So when I have x minus zero square plus y minus zero square is equal to three, which means that this is root three square. So this means that the center of this circle is zero comma zero. So the origin of the circle is zero zero. And what is the radius of the circle? The radius of the circle is square root of three. So when I draw this particular circle, I will see that. It, I should take a radius as root three, and the value of root three is approximately one point seven. Okay, let me just write it like this: one minus one minus two minus one minus two minus three. Okay, so one point seven is suppose somewhere here. So this is the circle you will get. Now we will go to the GeoGebra and check whether it is correct or not. Equation in GeoGebra x square plus y square equal to three. You will get this is the circle, and these are the four intersection points. You can see that E is E is also 1.7, F is 0, 1.7, G is minus 1.7 and is 0, and H is 0 comma minus 1.7 approximately. So this is a circle with center. The center is 0, 0, and the radius is how much? The radius is square root of three. In R two such that x is greater than or equal to y. So I will first look at the line x equal to y. Now, what is the line x equal to y? If I take x equal to zero, I will get y also equal to zero. If I take x equal to one, then the value of y also will be equal to one. So this means the values of x comma y pair is how much? 
zero zero and the other pair is one comma one. So I can draw this line clearly. This is a line. Why this is a line? Because it is of the form a x plus b y equal to c, right? I can write this as x minus y equal to zero also. So a is one, b is minus one, and c is how much zero. When I draw the line x equal to y, I will get this line passes through zero zero and it passes through the point one comma one. So I can draw a straight line passing through this. The equation of this line is x is equal to y. Again, I have to think of the the part that should I shade the left part of this line, the upper part or the lower part. So you pick any one point you think is simple for you. Suppose I pick up this point. Suppose this point is uh, the equator. This point is one comma zero. Correct. So check for one comma zero. What will happen for one comma zero? Check for one comma zero. What region am I want to check? X greater than or equal to y. Okay. So the value of x is how much here? The value of is it x greater than or equal to zero? Let me just check. Yeah. X greater than or equal to y. So value of x is how much one, and value of y is how much zero. So put in this equation. One is greater than or equal to zero. Is this correct or not correct? This is. This is one is greater than zero is correct. This means that the shaded region. Which is having one comma zero is the correct answer, and therefore I should erase this. I don't need this particular region. So the correct answer is that x greater than or equal to y is the correct region. If you go into GeoGebra and uh, and do this uh, and type this equation x greater than or equal to y, you will get this region.